Let's look at how to use forage when you're thinking about adjusting. We'll show you how to find answers to key questions such as, where have the growing seasons been favourable? Where is there plenty of pasture on offer? Whether there's been recent growth or only standover pasture from last season? Where has there been sufficient runoff for stock water? We'll find these answers using a forage drought assessment report. To show you how it's done, we'll compare two regions, the North Burnett and Black Old Tambo. All you have to do is visit the Forage Property Reports tab on the Long Paddock website and use the menu to go to the report examples. There's a wide range of reports available and you can obtain as many reports as are relevant for your needs. There are a number of ways you can order your reports. If you know your lot plan, enter this information here or alternatively, you can use the geolocation button or enter your property name or your road address or your place or township. Here's an example of searching by property name. If applicable, you can also add extra lots that make up the property aggregation on the plan by clicking here. You will then need to confirm how often you'd like to receive your reports, one off, monthly or every two to three months. Enter your email address and populate the optional label field for better organisation or identification of reports and then submit. The reports for those regions will be emailed to you for free. When your reports arrive, you can compare the regional maps. Let's start with rainfall. We can see that neither region has had great short-term rainfall. However, comparing the maps over 3, 6 and 12 months paints a different picture. Over the longer period, the North Burnett region has had extremely low rainfall, while for many parts of Black Old Tambo, rainfall has been above average. Now, let's check out pasture growth. As good rainfall is essential for good growing conditions, it's no surprise that Black Old Tambo comes out on top again. The three, six and 12 month data shows the region has had abundant growth, while pasture growth is extremely low over the same periods for the North Burnett region. But is the pasture any good? The curing index in your report can tell you more. For the Black Old Tambo region, the news remains good. Areas of grey and green on the map show the grass is most likely recent growth, while the red-yellow colour shows the grass has hayed off. So now we know where there is available pasture and its quality. But what about stock water availability? For that, we turn to the 12-month potential flow to stream map for estimated runoff. Over this period, Black Old Tambo shows average to above average runoff, which is encouraging. So we've used the forage report to look at rainfall, pasture growth, curing quality of pasture and runoff. And a clear picture emerges. The Black Old Tambo region is currently a better option for adjustment. Now this view is quite broad and properties across a region could differ in condition. You could look at the forage ground cover reports or the more interactive online veg machine for further property assessment. But as you can see, the forage drought assessment report gives you important information that can help you make informed decisions. Of course, there are many other factors to consider when looking to move stock and the reports should be used with paddock observations and other decision-making information. So spend some time using forage to discover how it can help inform your grazing land management decisions. For further information, visit the Long Paddock website, call the DAF Customer Service Centre on 13 25 23 in Queensland or email us.